Hi Geminis, welcome to your weekly love reading for the month of May. If you are a Gemini, someone rising Venus, this is your reading. If you're on the cusp of a Taurus or a Cancer, please watch their videos to see if they also resonate with you. Um, these are very general, so if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. Gemini, I drew the sun, the fox, the ship, and the tower. All right. The sun is happiness, exposure, um, clarity. Uh, joyfulness, warmth, the sunshine, daytime, the fox is like the self, uh, suspicion, um, not trusting, but also um, goals, like personal goals, uh, ship, movement, uh, exploring, avoidance, a travel move, you know, tower is loneliness, or it could be 50-50, the tower's like that, I'm striving for the top, the CEO, or uh, feeling lonely, separation, hmm. <clears throat> okay. Gemini. I'm seeing a lot of energy about you being happy alone. Like, alone. Like, you know what? I don't need anyone. Or just happy with being single. If you're single, you're, you're, you're fine this week. Just saying. In other words, like, you know, like, like I said, are happy that your spouse is out of the house for a few days even. So if you're not single, you're like, or let's say you're, you're seeing someone, but you don't live with them or you're not married, but you're like perfectly fine with whatever happens this week. It's like, okay, um, just take it one day at a time. Or you, it's like you have a lot of other self-indulgences that you just, that just brings you more joy than anyone else could possibly give you this week. <laughs> okay. And here's another thing. Uh, don't feel like you're being selfish because uh, what I'm seeing here is that some of you are are kind of contemplating on is it okay for me to be happy yes it's okay for you to be happy no you know you are not respond and this is for everyone out there you are not responsible for anyone's happiness okay i know we hear that saying all the time happiness is only comes from within right but you're it's like you're you're really fine whether whether your spouse is out of the house for a week, whether they're traveling, whether you're what whether your your significant other is just not coming over this week, you're fine. You're like, I got things to do. I got I got things to do. I got I got legs to shave. I've got hair to be done. I, I got stuff going on. I got jobs to go hunt for. I'm fine. I got places to go see. I mean, literally, that's what the cards are saying. Um, I just want to I just want time to myself. Um, now again, I'm I'm gonna add on more stories that I pick up, okay? Okay, here's what I also get. For some, there is an energy about thinking someone is too good to be true. So this does make you a little bit suspicious. Like, hmm, I don't know about this person. They seem to have everything going good, great for them. Should I believe them? I mean, because that's not normal, right? <laughs> I'm not saying I think that. I'm just saying this is like what I'm getting in your head. I'm married to Gemini, so I know you guys very well. Okay. <laughs> My dad's one and also my older sister is one. I have, I know Gemini's very well. Um, okay, for some, you could also be questioning your spouse or partner. That's what I do get here. Like, okay, so this is a, a totally opposite than what I said. Like, I don't care that they're gone. I don't care. I don't care. But on here's a twist. So the other side of you guys, uh, uh, the other part of you guys, you know, you, you, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. this is what might happen this week. Like, oh, I don't care, I don't need you. And it's not like it's not like you're saying that just to tell that person that. It's like, you really don't care. I'm happy, I got shit to do, I don't need you. But then you turn around, now, this is an add-on to what I was about to say. So for some of you, it's like half the week starts out like that. Like, oh, I've got stuff to do. Like I said, yada, yada, yada. And, but then you turn around and go, well, wait a minute, where are you going? I want you here, I want you with me, what are you doing? I thought we were gonna go out together. You know, it's like this total twist. But if that doesn't happen, then the other story is this is totally up. This is another story for others of you in general. So there's this um, questioning your spouse or partner, like uh, why the hell are you in such a good mood all of a sudden, or um, who are you trying to impress? Why are you why are you dulling all up? Where are we going? Why are you looking like that? <laughs> so, like as if they're worried you might cheat on them. And you're, there's no cheating here. I'm not seeing that. Uh, I do see something about setting your, here, here's another thing. It's like setting your eyes on someone and really going after them confidently, not really chasing them. So I'm not going to say you're going to chase this person, but it's like, but rather having a lot of confidence that they'll want you back. Like, oh, this person wants me. Oh, hell yeah. Nobody says no to me. Just saying there's a lot of confidence in you guys this week. I know I'm so bubbly this morning. Um, I had a really good nap. I slept. I, I went back to bed. That's probably why. <laughs> 
Um, okay, for some, another storyline in here is is separating. Okay, and I like not an ending, but a separating. Um, but but I will say this to ease you because I really do see this. I'm not sugarcoating. It's done with happiness. I'm not seeing regret here, for the most part. Okay, I don't see regret here. If someone leaves or decides to take a break from this person, it's like more of a, okay, go ahead, go on your way. Go ahead, right? <laughs> uh, but I will add another twist to that story for some of you. is someone you break up with, if there is a breakup this week, doesn't seem to care and that makes you suspicious. So you almost kind of ponder whether or not you should leave them because it's like you question if they really ever cared about you in the first place, okay? So I do see something about that. Okay, let's see what else do I get here. Okay, there's this having to travel alone. So it's not really about a breakup or anything, just having to travel alone or that someone is a little bit lonely because their spouse had to go on a business trip or something like that. Or maybe they, they're going on a family trip and you couldn't take off work and that you can't go with them. There's some, there's an energy of that here too. For some, someone is sad without you though, but they're, and they're quite lonely, I will add, but they play like they're not affected at all, at all, but they are. Because we have the sun here. And this is someone that's trying to pretend that they're fine, but they're really lonely that you're gone. Mm -hmm. What I say, tower can be loneliness. Tower can be loneliness. Um, what else do I get? <clears throat> there is also an issue about someone who brags about the stuff that they do, but they lie about it. But it's, how do I put this? Because I don't want you to think, some people do lie I'll, oh, okay. I'm not saying lying is good, but I'm just going to say this. Some people do lie or fib, not intentionally to create problems, but they do it out of the goodness of their heart. <laughs> they just want to impress you. And I, yeah, that's not the best way to do it, honestly. Like maybe this person is like, oh, my cat, get off here, baby. Come on. Like maybe this person, let's just say for example, maybe this person has a lot of Instagram followers, but you kind of look at their Instagram followers and you realize, wow, they, they buy those people. They buy all those followers. Wow, um, damn, you know? Cause you can sometimes tell when people buy their followers, like you know how if it's like a thousand less all of a sudden and, and like the next day, boom, it's like a thousand more or 3000 more that fast, you know? It's kind of obvious. Um, so there's this like, there's this kind of like, well, it's, or somebody that goes, Hey, I don't live with my mom. I have my own place, but you, and, but they don't really want you over. And you're always like, well, why don't they ever want me to come over? Because they're really living with their mom still. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging that. Okay. We understand people fall in hard times, but there's that sense of somebody kind of trying to impress the other person. They don't, I, and what I'm getting in the cards is they really don't mean to be deceiving. They're just trying to impress you. So I'm telling you guys this ahead of time so you don't take it too personally. It's not that this person, and now maybe for some, this person is a liar after all the fox is here. Sometimes the fox is that shady person that likes to put on a front or they just act like you know they have it all and everything, or they're just, they're just a con man. It could be a trickster card here. But, but what I'm picking up in the card is a little bit of softer, they aren't meaning to be deceiving, you know, but, but then again, there, there's that, remember the other stories that I saw, somebody might be thinking something or assuming something like, where are you going? Why aren't you here? There is that too that came in my head earlier, okay? Um, <clears throat> what else do I see? <sighs> but, but if this person even does try to lie to impress you, I still will say this. It's like, you can still see right through them, but just know that based on my cards, what I'm picking up on, they're not really doing it to be deceiving, okay? They don't really want to lie. They just want you to be impressed with them, okay? Oh, okay, parents. I know this is not about, I normally don't read for teenagers, but here's a story for you. And if you are a teenager, which you shouldn't be watching this, because I usually expect 18 years and over, older, but I don't really mark my, mark my videos that way. So, but, but let's say if you have any teenagers, I do see issues about, like one of them trying to sneak off to see their boyfriend, girlfriend when they're not supposed to, I guess. Or this is another, another similar storyline where someone tries to put up boundaries, but ends up giving in and sees the other person out of loneliness anyway. So it's like, ooh, 
girl, don't go see him. Don't go see him. You know he treats you bad. You know that. And she's like, yeah, I know. I'm not going to go see him. Oh, hell no. I haven't talked to him in like three weeks. <laughs> no. And then like, oh, but I'm so lonely and he's calling me right now. You know how that goes? So I do see that happening for some of you guys too. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Gemini. What a wild week you're going to have. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.